After a big win last night, Maryland softball dropped a back and forth affair to Illinois on this breezy Saturday afternoon in College Park. The Terps had opportunities late, but just couldn't cash in, ultimately falling one run short in a 4-3 loss. Bree Godfrey took to the circle for Maryland on Saturday, but the sophomores greeted rudely. With one away in the top of the first, Illinois' Stevie Mead showed off the opposite field pop by sending this full count offering over the right center field fence, giving the Fighting Illini an immediate 1-0 lead. Illinois' advantage was short-lived, however, as Maryland's Diamond Williams tied the game by lacing this solo shot to right. Both starters seemed to settle in after that, but it wasn't easy sledding for Godfrey. She allowed at least one Illinois batter to reach scoring position in each of the next three frames, but pitched out of jams to keep the Illini off the board. On that, we've made some adjustments um, in just her pitch locations. I thought her changeup was working really well today, and so that helped her in those jams. I thought she did a really nice job of trying to work ahead, mixing with batters, um, and then we made some nice defensive plays behind her. We just the Terps' breakthrough finally came in the fourth when Sydney Lewis roped a double to right center, scoring pinch runner Caitlin Cornwell all the way from first. Maryland had a chance at more in the inning, with runners on first and third nobody out. But this back pick at third, and consecutive strikeouts by Tori McQueen, allowed the Illini to limit the damage. Illinois then dropped a three spot in the Terps in the top of the fifth, with a two RBI single from Paige Berkmeyer, followed by an RBI base hit from Gabrielle Debevec. Maryland wasn't done though, as Delaney Reef got a run back with this sack fly in the bottom of the inning. The Terps then had a golden opportunity to steal a late lead after loading the bases with a few free passes, but Illini reliever Lauren Wiles induced this massive 6-4-3 double play to end the threat. In the bottom of the seventh, the Terps managed to bring the go-ahead run to the plate, but McQueen, who was back on the mound, was able to get the K to seal an Illinois victory. We took too long to get our timing down, and I think that was one of our biggest issues early on. It, again, we're fouling a lot of pitches off going deep into counts, but not um, finishing the at-bat strong. And so. The loss draws Maryland back to 500 in Big Ten play, but the Terps will have an opportunity to secure a series victory with a win in tomorrow afternoon's rubber match against the Fighting Illini. For Terrapin Sports Central, from Maryland Softball Stadium, I'm Aiden Curry.